Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to use my Moto's thrust stand in order to check how using 6S batteries in conjunction with Forest motors after limiting the Moto's output value affects the Moto performance. First of all, in case you are not aware of this feature, in beta flight under the PID tuning tab under PID profile settings you are able to set the motor output limit. In general, in case you would like to use a forest motor with a 6S battery, you'll need to set the scale factor to 66% and in case you would like to use a 3S motor with a forest battery, you'll need to set it to 75%. In addition, in case you would like the PID profile to be auto-selected based on the battery that you are using, you can set the cell count. So for example, in case you would like to use a 6S battery with a forest motor, you can set the cell count to 6 and set the scale factor to 66% and add another PID profile where the scale factor is set to 100% when the cell count is set to 4. In order to test how limiting the motor's output value affects the performance of a forest motor when using it with a 6S battery, I used two types of motors. The 1750, 1950 and 2550 kV versions of the T-Motor F60 Pro 4 all scaled to 1750 kV and the 1850 and 2550 kV versions of the Racestar RC 2207.5 motors which I scaled to 1850 kV. In addition, in order to make the test more valid and consistent, in all the tests I used a power supply which I set to 24 volts in order to power the thrust end and of course I used the same propeller. The next step was to create a custom script that will enable me to apply the motor output limit value. In this example I tested the T-Motor F60 Pro 4 motor so the base KV is set to 1750 and in case the test KV is going to be set to 1750 as well the motor output limit value is going to be 1 slash 100% and in case the test KV is going to be set to 2550 the motor output limit value is going to be 0.68 which equals to 68%. The next thing that I've done is to individually test each motor and finally gather all the data in this table which is linked down below. According to the test results, first of all the base KV motor either 1750 or 1850 KV generated more thrust than the higher KV motors and maybe even more important, under every percentage of throttle, the base KV motor was more efficient and you can refer to the motor efficiency value, which is the result of dividing the mechanical power by the electrical power in percentage. So overall, according to my test, maybe as expected, even though it's possible to use 6S batteries with forest motors after limiting the motor's output value, you are simply not going to get the most out of your motors. By the way, just as a reminder, in case you are going to use a 6S battery on a forest setup, you need to make sure that all the accessories that are connected to the battery pads support 6S batteries, for example, the flight controller, VTX, air unit, and etc. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.